you how you can create a server to host a Laravel application using Vulture and Server Pilot. So let's begin. Once you have a Vulture account, you go here to the server section and you go here to deploy a new server. Then you select the server location. You select the server type, server size, and here in the server host name label, we're going to, to say test level. And we hit the button deploy now. Now we have to wait until the server is being installed. This will give us an Ubuntu server. As you can see here, now we have an IP address for the server. Meanwhile, we can go to our server pilot account. Once you have created the server pilot account, go to the server section and you go here to connect server. Server pilot will help us to the configuration of all the things related with Indians, Apache, MySQL, and so on in our new server. So as you can see, the status of the server is already running. So inside our server, we go here and copy the IP address and we place it here in our server pilot. Now we have to look for the root password. We copy our root, root password, set it here. And now we're going to set the password for the server pilot user. Remember this password because we will use it later. Now server pilot is taking care of our server. Server pilot is connecting to this server and making all the configuration regarding with the software we need in our server to be installed so we can run Laravel applications such as PHP, MySQL, Apache and so on. We have to wait until server pilot is done with the installation. Server Pilot also takes care of the security side of our server. It helps us a lot to focus on developing our Laravel applications and not uh, have to take care of all these details regarding with uh, the server itself. Server Pilot also takes care of updating automatically our server and all the things related with the software that is installed.
We are almost ready. Great, you're ready to create your first app on this server. So now we're going to create our first app using server pilot. We hit here on create app. We set the domain. In this case, we're going to set the IP address of our server. We select PHP 7.1. The server is this one we have created and we hit create app and we are set now we can check here in our browser this IP address and great now it let us know that the server pilot configuration work very nicely this is a simple landing page that server pilot creates in order to let us know that the system worked well. So now we have to log in to the server and install Laravel. Through our terminal, we're going to connect through SSH using the server pilot user in the same IP. Now we are going to use the password I told you that you have to remember. We are in. Now inside the apps folder, we can see that there is a folder called test level. There is where our app is going to reside. We check inside and there is a public folder that has this index.php file and that file has this simple landing page. So now we have to remove it. With this command, we, have, we are going to remove the public folder. And it's done. So now, we go here to the Laravel site, and we see that we already have all these requirements installed. We have been able to do that through server pilot. So now we have to install through Composer the Laravel installer. Now we have to do composer create project Laravel Laravel dot refer this. We place the dot because we don't want to create a new folder when installing this Laravel application. We just want to create uh, or install the Laravel in the test Laravel folder itself. We hit enter now. 
and the system is creating a Laravel version 5.5. It's the latest one version at the times of this recording. And there we go. It looks like everything went well. So now if we check here the IP address of our server. There we go. We have now a Laravel application ready to start. So I hope that you like this video. You now have a server set up to run Laravel and go and create something nice. Have fun. Thanks.